The Warriors, they came out in the first quarter um, and really took the game there. Um, proud of the way our guys hung in. Tough shooting night, obviously. We got 25% on 44 three-point attempts, which you know puts a lot of pressure on you um, in the game, especially in transition against that team. That's a lot of long rebounds that they're running out with. Um, you know, but I thought our guys re-centered themselves after the first quarter. We ended up winning quarters two, three, and four. Um, that chunk of time, we won the game. So, um, you know, the Warriors have historically been a very, you know, a very good team starting the game, starting the third quarter. Um, they they made a lot of timely shots. Um, obviously, Steph and, and Clay finding threes in transition really hurt us tonight. But... Um, I think for the most part, especially on the offensive end, we played the way we wanted to play. And if you shoot 25% from three, it, it puts a lot of pressure on you. So, um, you know, credit to the Warriors. They played better than us. And big game tomorrow. Is it at all difficult to keep the positive vibe of the going of the of the team going, given the shooting per percentages you just mentioned, and then, you know, kind of having lost the last three in a row, I guess? I don't think so. I think it's just about keeping perspective on what's important to us. Um, you know, how you play is more important than the individual result. Obviously, we want to win every game, but um, over the course of 82 games, there is some variance, especially in shooting. And, you know, we're a team that shoots a lot of threes, and so there are going to be some nights where you just don't make them um, for whatever the reasons are. Um, and so I think it's just about us as a team staying focused on the right things. Um, you can get caught up in, yeah, we lost the game. Um, you know, we played a good team and they played a good game and we did not shoot the ball very well. Um, so it's really about us, you know, watching the film and staying focused on the things that we can control. And, you know, I, I believe in our group and our shooting. And I think that. You know, we've shown, especially early in the season, that if we get off 44 threes, I expect us to make more than 11 on most nights. One aspect uh, was the defensive rebounding and the second chance points they got. Mm -hmm. What did you see in that particular part of the game? And especially, what do you want to see after they get an offensive rebound in order for you guys to defend better, if anything? Yeah, it, if you give up the offensive rebound, it's it's hard to have like a scheme or a plan for what to do there. Um, especially a team like that, there, you know, Looney is has done such a good job in that area um, of rebounding and then you know either kicking out or scoring himself. You know, he had seven of their sixteen offensive rebounds by himself. So um, again, it really just comes down to. You know, the secondary helper getting in and rebounding. The first guy goes to challenge the shot. The second person has to get into the legs of the big and try to scrap out some of those rebounds. Um, in some of those moments, you're undersized, but no one cares. You know, you have to try to fight and claw and tip it out. Um, but when you play a team like the Warriors that spreads you out so well, that second defender is usually pretty far away. Um, so you have to cover a lot of ground. Uh, they put you in tough spots in that way. and. You know, Looney has done such a great job the last couple of years in that area. Uh, puts a lot of pressure on your defense. Coach, the transition defense is probably a product of, like you said, missing your own three-pointers. Mm -hmm. Were you okay with it, and did you think you kind of got better as the game went on? Uh, you know, I'll have to watch the film to see if, I, if it got better as the game went on. Um, you know, overall, no, I'm not happy with it, but it's – it's tough because of how many shots we'd missed from three. Um, you know, Golden State is is one of the best teams, you know, ever playing with numbers in transition, and um, they do such a great job of locating their shooters. And tonight, it felt like they made every one of them. Um, you know, it's an area that has been a huge focus for us. Um, it's an area that will continue to be a huge focus for us, but. Um, you know, 33 missed threes, that's a lot of opportunities for them to get out and run. So I'll have to go back and watch them. Um, obviously, the ones after made baskets are always going to be the ones that, that bother us more than the ones after misses. Um, you know, you score a bucket, you have to get back and get matched up. And um, a lot of teams in the NBA 
are, are trying to sort of emulate things the Warriors have done for years, which is get the ball out of the net quick and race it up the court. Um, Draymond Green has been one of the best players at that, um, you know, in, in recent memory. So it's an area that we're going to continue to hammer home. And, um, you know, I, I definitely think that our team will respond. You played Nikhil 30 minutes tonight. What did you see from him? I thought Nikhil was unbelievable. Um, his defense, getting over screens, using his length, being disruptive. Um, I really think that Nikhil is the player that turned the game for us and kept us in the game. Um, he came in, his defensive energy, getting the ball to the paint and moving it to his teammates. Um, you know, he, he really did a marvelous job, um, you know, keeping us keeping us in the game and sort of helping us get back to what we wanted to do. Um, he's shown a knack on the defensive end for not getting screened. Um, did a great job of mixing going under and over on some of the stuff with Clay Thompson. So um, really, really happy with the way he played tonight. I thought he represented himself great. Pretty good. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Walker, it's your first time playing the Warriors and kind of seeing Steph and Clay and all that up close. What it's like to play the defending champs? Yeah, I mean they're, you know, they're obviously extremely talented. Um, I mean, just the way they move the ball and you know the chemistry they have as a team. I mean, it's it's apparent. Um, so yeah, it was definitely an experience. When you get uh, kind of switched out on, on Steph or you just kind of have to hedge out, mm -hmm. what are you thinking and kind of what are you trying to do in those plays? You know, um, they're definitely the main threat. So understanding that, you know, trying your best to contain them while still getting back and to drop on, obviously, you know, the roller. Kind of outside of this game, what are you looking to improve most about your game right now? Um, you know, I think just... The more I play, the more I figure stuff out, just knowledge of the game. You know, a lot of stuff that, as a rook, you don't really know. For instance, you know, getting two defensive three seconds tonight, um, you know, getting used to clearing out, uh, just the knowledge of the game, you know, being more physical. Um, yeah. Walker, coach uh, Will said, aside from the first quarter, you guys actually outscored them in two through four. Is that something you can take away positive from this game? No question. Um, no question. You know, I think it's important to take away something positive from, you know, even from a loss. Um, so, you know, using that, you know, we'll move forward and, you know, we got a quick turnaround. So. For you, how does the pace of the NBA season compare to the pace of the college season? And, like, what kind of impact does that have on you and the play? Um, you mean just like how quickly games come and go yeah, and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, you got to have a short memory. Um, you know, your highs can't be too high, your lows can't be too low. I mean, you got a game. I mean, we got a game tomorrow, you know, so there's not a lot of time to linger on this. You know, take what you learn from this game and apply it to the next game. Was that the most hostile, for lack of a better word, crowd that you've faced so far this season? Uh, probably. Yeah, they, they've got a pretty, pretty fun crowd. Um, yeah, probably. And does it, is it something that you can build on that you guys didn't will really under pressure until really the very I, I don't think we really felt the pressure of the crowd. Um, you know, I think that for us it's fun to play in a crowd like that. Um, I just think the, you know, Golden State was hitting shots and, you know, was getting the crowd going. And, you know, it, it fed into Golden State more than it affected us, I think. Nick Hill got the chance to play a lot with you guys in the second mm -hmm. unit. What did you see from him? Yeah, I mean, he, he did unbelievably. Um, you know, very composed um, with Mike being hurt. Um, you know, very good offensively. Extremely, well, like, unbelievable defensively. You know, getting on the ball, putting pressure, getting into screens. Um, so I was happy for him. Good. Awesome. Yep, appreciate you all. Oh.